What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another game analysis. This game ended 1-1 and was a fantastic example of just another comeback win. The goal that we gave them was a goal that we gave them as opposed to a goal that they earned, which is really frustrating, uh, but we'll go over that right now. So let's press play. So this is us in black. You can see me and my bald ass head right there, number 17. Kavanaugh, uh, we are kicking off from right to left. So the ball is going to come out to our six and we're going to go from there and start building. So I'm playing left back in this game uh, and you guys will see first touch coming over here. So ball comes over, bounces just in front of me, ball spins out weird and I'm able to get there, play into our winger who's able to first time it, just doesn't hit it quite right, but that's okay. Good defensive work there. Getting straight into the winger, uh, and making sure that I'm covering on the backside as well so that number 22 doesn't get there either. So ball comes to me from the winger, um, and this is their first goal, actually. So if you, I, I don't, yeah, it's, it's one of those situations where, you know, again, trying to play over, maybe, I'm going to pause. Okay, in this situation, so as you can see, I'm just about to play the ball to our center back. They only have one guy between our six, one of our sixes, and our center back, right? In this scenario, I think it's better if I play the keeper and then the center back pulls wider on the right hand side, if that makes sense. So in this case, I played a great ball, I think, over to the center back. It was just one of those mistakes that it's it's a one in a trillion chance. Our center back is fantastic. He's one he's the most athletic player I think I've ever played with uh, and just a fantastic guy to, to play with and to watch. And so it was one of those like fluke mistakes you can never you can't even you can't even blame somebody for that because of the way that that ball bounced off his foot um and it's one of those things so again i i have no feelings towards it other than uh he did a fantastic job responding in this game which is the most important thing for those of you uh, when when mistakes happen um I'll take responsibility for my pass. I think my pass could have gone to the center or to the, uh, excuse me, to the keeper instead. Positionally, we actually talked about it at halftime. Like, hey, constructively, here's how you fix that situation because I'm playing a little bit wider in sort of a three, if you will. So a little bit, a little bit wider in a three back kind of uh, depends on the situation and stuff. But in this case, we are playing in a structurally what looks like a three back. So that's the example. I'd rather play through my keeper who's then able to play through the center back so that we have more numbers as opposed to playing that center back into a 1v1 situation. So anyway, you can watch and uh, make your own judgments based on it. But play, so ball gets over, and then again, he tries to one-touch the keeper, which would have been perfect, but uh, they capitalize on it. So that's uh, really early on in the game. Very, very proud of how we responded, though, and that's the most important thing. So next thing, ball comes over to center back and then bounce it out, and we're able to play. Could have maybe turned there, but we had some guys that we were marking as well. So this is another situation, just playing into our 10. Our 10's able to turn, and then he fizzed it in as well. So this is ball from the keeper. So that's a situation where we did it correctly from the other side, right? So now we're playing to the keeper, and there's a little bit of a press, and we're able to get out. Ball comes out to me, and then fizzed into our 9, who's checking. Great job by our number 9 to keep possession there. And then we're just going to move the ball, played it over to our 10. Probably not the right call, but uh, yeah, it was a good idea. It was a good idea. Here's another situation where just trying to double there, win possession, play it out, and then we're able to retain as well. Quick free kick and turns and plays. Or not. Plays into our center back, uh, plays into me, and then he's dropping off. And so I'm able to play and we're able to suck that defense forward so that we can play in behind them then. Ball straight into our nine. Mis, uh, miscontrols it, unfortunately. That's okay. There's another situation. There, boom. Great touch. So again, so pause. Okay, so that's the exact, almost the exact same thing, except it wasn't on the top of our 18 and he's able to play out of it. Like, as I said before, it's a, it was just one of those things where like, I, I'm so excited about the mentality of this squad and the way that we were able to just like, it, it literally, no one said a word. It was just like, okay, cool, like it happens. Mistakes happen, let's roll, roll through it again. And we were able to keep the ball a ton in this game. Again, keeping as much possession as we possibly can, which is fantastic, all right, so we'll play. Next ball comes over to me. Just gonna drive forward, ball into our nine running onto it, 
could have been a little bit wider, I reckon. That would have given him a better shot of getting there. Little touch. I thought it was out of bounds, but I went for it anyway. And uh, it ended up, he ended up giving the ball, like basically handing us the ball. So fair enough. Ball into the winger. Great touch. And we're able to play out of it. We got a foul out of that one. So that was good. Ball comes out to me. And I'm able to just turn and play our center back and get wide to be an option. He's able to turn and play the keeper. And then, as you can see, I'm checking my shoulder, checking my shoulder. And then I'm able to turn on it, play it into our six. I just wanted to show you guys this highlight because this is Moonbee, one of my best friends. He's been on the channel a couple times. Fantastic skill by him. So, very, very cool. One touch in, and we're able to break line straight away. He could have turned into that. Um, but, yeah. Drive forward. Maybe could have played the 10 there, or the 11, I guess. And then here we go, check and shoulder, check and shoulder. One touch out to the winger. This is great play by us. Really good run by the winger. Ball comes over the top, onside, and just, oof, unlucky. So pause. Okay. So this is, again, that's the types of plays we're looking for where, as an outside back, if I can play, 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 a winger or an outside mid come, or a winger or a center mid comes into my position on the outside, I pull into the center. As you can see, I was dropping into that center space just being an option. The 10 that got the ball in my position um, is a player who's extraordinarily creative. He's, he's one of the best players in the league, in my opinion. Super, super skillful. So he'll, getting him on the ball is really, really important for us and our success. So making sure that I can just be a supporting role and then obviously finishing and do my, you know, having impact as well. But getting him on the ball pushing inside, drawing drawing guys into him and into me, that leaves the winger open, and then we're able to play those balls over the top to the, the guys running in behind, and we're able to get chances like you just saw. So again, starting to think about the ways that you can combine with your, uh, with your teammates. I'm gonna go on a quick little rant here. Uh, a lot of players, especially at the youth level, think they're way better than they are, and this is something that I think general confidence comes from self-awareness. And, and confidence is a little bit of a, a trigger word in, in some senses, uh, but having confidence means you're extraordinarily self-aware and you own your capabilities as a player. Me saying, I want the number 10 on the ball, our number 10 on the ball, doesn't mean I don't think I'm a great player. That's not what that means. What that means is I understand my role and I understand what I'm good at and what I'm good at isn't having control of the ball and dictating tempo the entire time or being super, super creative like he is. That's just not my player profile, right? That's not the thing that I'm really good at. But what I am good at is getting in behind on runs, making great recoveries, uh, 1v1 defending, crossing the ball, having an engine, working really hard, defending really well, uh, keeping possession of the ball and all that stuff. So that stuff is like what I'm really good at. What I'm really good at is not being tick, 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 midfielder, you know, super tight spaces, all that stuff. I can do that, but it's just not my strong suit. And again, that's where confidence is up here for me because I understand and I have a high level of um, understanding of what I'm uniquely good at as a player. So hopefully that helps one of you guys watching this video. All right, so we'll play. Ball's in the air, comes back to me, and then just a clearance, right-footed clearance was a little uh, uh, right into our winger, and he's able to touch the ball great for a number 10 running on. So good stuff there. A uh, little sequence here, put my foot on the ball. Again, trying to just hold possession, dropping off for the keeper. He's able to play me, play him again. Again, just trying to suck them out of position so that we're able to make runs uh, into that central space. So beat the guy inside, and then I really wanted this ball back, but unfortunately uh, he didn't. I mean, unfortunately for me, obviously, that's a selfish thing to say, but yeah. So here we go, just staying tight to the guy making sure that, uh, here we go, patient, 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 patient in possession, and we're able to get out of it. So again, really, really good in our defensive third. Little 1v1 defending here. Uh, not much I could do there, but I make that run forward, touch the ball, and he's able to play out of it. So that's, that's great from us. Really, really good from us from a counting attack perspective. Um, all right. And then opens up, play into our 10, plays back, a lot of tick, 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 ball into the 10, 
around the corner to the eight, and then I'm there as a supporting role, so which is great. He plays me back the ball, 2v1, boom. And we win possession, so good stuff there. Another 1v1 defending here. Showing him outside, and then blocking the cross. So great, 1v1 defending. Only thing better there is to win possession and go forward. That's really it. A uh, little defensive header, so no stress there. Good positioning for me. And then we win a throw-in out of it. All right, ball comes over. Play the winger, and I'm going to overlap again. I really wanted an overlap. I don't think I got a single ball on an overlap this game, uh, which is so disappointing. Okay, this is making sure on a corner kick we cover. So that's just me covering that guy. So I'm going to pause really quick. All right, so this is a situation where uh, the right back had gone with that player and just both of them had missed the ball, but the, the guy on the other team had anticipated it and spun off behind him. So that's my job. It's myself and usually our center back, the captain, who's in the frame right now. He's the only guy other than the goalkeeper in the frame. Um, he and I are the last two guys on corner kicks usually because of our ability to recover really well. Uh, and so that's, that was a prime example of why I'm there in that position. So I can speed up, recover, beat that guy, play it to our keeper and just keep possession. So yeah, that's kind of, again, that's just knowing my role. Again, we talked about confidence earlier. I really understand where I'm at. I understand where I'm supposed to be in those moments and doing my job to the T. Yeah. All right. So we'll play. All right, next play comes out to me in a wide kind of half space area. Going to play it back to our center back, and we're just going to keep possession. Again, just biding our time, slowing these guys down, really making sure that we're doing the right things. Ball comes out to me, and then I'm going to overlap, but he doesn't cut inside all the way. So that's a, so I'm going to pause. Okay, really quick. So in those scenarios, uh, I talked about this uh, two game analysis ago now, I believe, two or three game analysis ago. So what happens is you want to be on different planes, different vertical lines than your winger. So if your winger is going to go in one direction and he's going to go down straight on the line, you want to underlap or stay behind him as an outside back. If he cuts in immediately and draws all those defenders inside, which opens up space on the outside, then you can overlap and that's totally fine. In this case, you saw me attempt to overlap because I thought he was going to go inside a little bit more, but then I slowed my run down and stayed behind him for preventative cover and as an option so he was able to backheel it or you know whatever skill he just did, uh, backheel it to me so that we're able to keep possession. Does that make sense? So again, understanding where the space is, what the movement of your winger and the winger in front of you is, that's super, super important as an outside back and it'll really help influence the, the moment to moment decisions you make during a game. All right, so play. All right, next one. Okay, perfect. So now we're into the second half. First ball I get is from my keeper playing into the winger and he's able to play out of it. No stresses there. This is another situation, 1v1 defending. He's a left-footed player dominant, has barely any right foot. So that's something that's really important for me to know. And that keeper, the keeper had a fantastic angle on that. Little chip ball into our winger, which is great. All right. Throw in, ball back, and this is just a ball over the top. Uh, maybe could have kept possession of there, but there wasn't really any options, so that's kind of the safest bet right there. In the open half space, going to cut it back. Really no options in the box at that point, unfortunately. And then we'll play forward. All right, little defensive header, and six is able to get out of it, so no stress there. Ball comes out, defensive play, and then here it is overlapping and this ball just doesn't quite get to me. I want that ball in front of me, so pause. Okay, I don't know what's going on with uh, my screen right here as I'm watching the game is, uh, is being really glitchy and weird. But um, yeah, so anyway, so in that play, uh, when I'm overlapping, I've won the ball, handed it to our winger, winger plays the nine, and I'm overlapping. I've you know effectively torched our winger, <laughs> which is funny. No, I'm kidding. He's up actually further than me. So I get around to the outside, the winger cuts inside and goes the opposite direction. I just want that ball in front of me. I wanna receive the ball going full pace. That's like what I love doing. And you guys have seen in multiple game analysis videos, that's when we get the most success is when guys play my overlapping run at full speed, right? So that's what I'm, that's what I'm best at, I think. All right, last couple plays of the game here. So we'll play. 
his being super glitchy for some reason. All right, so ball comes out, just putting pressure on that guy. No worries there. Really good defending in that space. Uh, so again, just putting pressure. Um, so here's another situation, uh, winning that header, going forward, and then he wins the ball back again, uh, or he gets the ball, and I'm just going to follow, 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 double down, and then get ahead and recover on the guy. So again, doing my, doing my job as best I can. Um, and that's just an execution thing, which is great. So ball comes in there, plays around the corner, and I'm putting really high pressure on that winger, winning it, and we actually almost score out of this opportunity. So do a really good job of bodying the guy, uh, plays over to the winger, and we just, really good 1v1, and just doesn't quite get there. Great, like, it is nuts that we didn't score off that play. But again, that all came from a great defensive play, which is awesome. Ball comes over to me, I'm gonna play out to our winger, Again, try to overlap. He doesn't cut in right away. There's another perfect example, great ball from him, I think, uh, of, of biting moments, right? Feel pressure on my back, so pause. Okay, so two things there. First play was, again, that's another play of understanding, okay, if he's going to sit and he's going to take that winger and hold him in that position, I don't want to overlap or underlap. I'm just going to stay as an option and I'm going to pull myself back so he can take that guy 1v1 and not draw two defenders. The second one that you just saw was a great example of understanding where that pressure was on my backside and just flicking it a little bit. It went out of bounds for a corner kick, which isn't ideal, but it's much better than him getting connection on that ball right away. Okay, so play. All right, next 1v1. Ball comes across. We're lucky not to concede there, honestly, um, but great job by our center back sliding in there. All right, here's a little sequence as well. Ball comes out to the winger, and then I'm just holding my position. Fantastic skill there. Uh, go for it. I just wanted to, for you guys to see this play uh, kind of get, get forward. So he's going to put his foot on it, and I am here already into the second half. Play, and we're just going to go from there. You watch my overlap. Decides to cross it and uh, almost gets there. Oh, unbelievable save from the keeper, to be honest. Like that should have, but you can see the reaction of our player. Uh, good, good run there. Keeper calls it, fantastic. So again, just good cover run, no issues. Ball comes over from the center back and opening up my body, driving forward into that space, playing into the winger. The winger's able to turn, played in the nine. Again, good sequence of play there. Uh, and then this is my last touch of the game. Ball comes out out to the winger, and then we're able to go forward. This is our goal, so we scored in the second half after I had come off. I came off at like the 78th minute, I think. So ball comes over from the six. Unbelievable skill from uh, our number 10. You watch this. This guy is crazy. Takes on three guys. Unbelievable cutback and a goal. So really, really fantastic. Really fantastic. His, uh, his wife and kid were in the stands as well, which was awesome. So super good to see. Really, really awesome performance from the team coming back and uh, against a good side. So the, the side we played is, uh, is a good team and they've got some technical, technical players, some good attacking players. So no, no complaints there. And that is it. All right, there we go. So I appreciate you guys watching very much. If you do have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Two things that I learned from this game are one, excellent defensive work from me. I got to continue to do that, really be locked in on the defensive side. And then the second thing is keep making the overlaps, even though I was so annoyed, like with a smile on my face, annoyed. You guys know that kind of feeling. I was so annoyed with a smile on my face that I didn't get literally any crosses off that game because I had no, no one gave me the ball on the overlap. It was just one of those things. We just kept the ball, kept the ball, kept the ball. We had some success going down the middle. And then of course we uh, scored from the right hand side by leaving our number 10 in open wide space. So it was just one of those games where my role was more to keep possession and to be more on defensively minded. I think it was a fantastic performance by the team. Uh, very good performance from myself, I think. And uh, yeah, really, really excited about this. So a good point. Uh, definitely good to keep that momentum going and looking forward to the next couple games as well. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Hit that like button if you got value from the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Injury prevention, strength gains, explosiveness, and power. Just some of the benefits of keeping a consistent gym schedule while in season. 
You would not believe how effective strength programs can be when done on a regular basis, and I, for one, am not missing out on the opportunity to get better every day. In-season programs are now available through the link in my bio and include access to a private video library of tutorials for every exercise. Be awesome and get after it.